Okay, um, remember the video about the particle distribution? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put the link here if you don't remember that video, but um, basically in that video, I, um, I actually used the Crew Sifter to check um, the different particle distribution of different grinders. So that includes, of course, the Commandante C40. That includes the King Grinder K6. The Commandante X25 Trail Master, um, the Easy Presso Q Air, and the Easy Presso ZP6. Um, after doing that video, um, I found out that I found out that the microfine particles of the Commandante C40 and the Easy Presso ZP6, because there is so little of the microfine particles. Um, the dye fluid scale cannot read it. Yeah, it can't, it can't read the amount of microfine particles that is in that, um, in that test. So, what I did was, I looked for a scale that is even more sensitive than the dye fluid. So, if the dye fluid reads, reads the tenth of a gram, this scale reads a hundredth of a gram. So the decimal point on this scale is three decimal points. Whereas the dye fluid only reads two decimal points. Right. This is actually quite expensive for what it is. And yeah. This is what they use for jewelries or uh, minerals. So this this scale reads three zeros, right? So I'm just so excited. We're, we actually we are about to leave for Manila, but um, I'm just so excited that I want to do even just just even the 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 Commandante C40 right now, right? So. Um, I'm gonna prepare my 15 grams because the test that we did was for 15 grams. So I'm gonna weigh 15 grams of coffee beans. Okay, that's 15.1. Right, now we're gonna do um, the same settings as we did um, during that video, which is um, 23 clicks, I'm just gonna brush up some um, leftover coffee grounds here to make sure that we don't have extra particles. Right. Again, 23 clicks. Now we're gonna put it in the Groove Sifter. Again, we have the same um, micron size sieves, 1,100 microns and 300 microns at the bottom. Right. And then during that time, we actually timed the shaking to one minute. So we're gonna do the same today. Okay, that is one minute. Um, now I'm thinking I should get some um, paper filters so that I can put it here because I don't want to, don't want to, you know, I'll be back. Okay, now I have a paper filter so that we can actually weigh 
and I don't want to put any particles onto this um, very special scale. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on and tear the paper filter. Okay. Ah. Okay. Um. I needed to turn off the fan so that it would not because the, the the scale is so sensitive that even air can interfere with the with the platform right so let's tear that okay and then let's do the same here see here in the more sensitive scale it reads 954 grams only ah 0.954 grams only but here on the dye fluid it reads one gram so there is your discrepancy oh okay here it is um again the coffee the grinder reacts differently to every coffee right so i guess this coffee beans so I guess the coffee beans that we're using right now is not so brittle. But anyway, we are going to try and measure that. Okay. Again, it's not it's not reading it. It stays at 0 grams. Now we're going to use the ultra sensitive scale. Oh, see, it reads 0 0.075 grams. So it's less than it is less than one gram. Huh? No, less than 0 0.1 of a gram. So it, that is why. Um, the dye fluid is not able to read it because the dye fluid only reads 1.1 gram or 0 0.1 gram. And here at the um, at the more sensitive scale, it reads less than 0 0.1 grams. So that's why. Um, yeah. So I got the right scale. Um, I might I might redo. I might redo the particle distribution thing with the Easypresso ZP6 and the Commandante C40 to see who has less uh, microfine particles. Right. Um, yeah. For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!